Hi YouTube, Eric here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little uh, repair, uh, stick welding repair on a big crack on the back side of my snowblower right past the drum. It's uh, been booger welded by somebody before and uh, I'm going to booger weld it myself too. <laughs> so. YouTube, you ever like wonder what the heck to say to people? I'm going to fix my lousy snowblower. <laughs> A weld on it. Stick metal together. Make art welds. <laughs> Splatter. Sun's coming down, I'm having a little hard time seeing what I'm doing. See what I'm doing. I'm all over the place. I should have a hood for the hood. For the sun So now I'm going to come in here and hit this uh, raw weld with bright galvanizing compound. It's the exact product that we use on uh, welds on docks and stuff like that. And if it can survive water, it'll it'll survive whatever the snowblower is going to be seeing. Get the oh, shut up! Uh, where'd the little thingy go? Uh-oh, I won't be using this thingy. This thingy's gone to market. <laughs> Occupational hazard is when you paint yourself, paint your shoe. Probably got it on my jeans too, I just can't see it. I got it everywhere. 
telling you, this stuff's like Amy sees. Once you touch it, it's everywhere. Okay, so that's uh, that's our farm repair. I gotta do some grinding. I gotta grind both sides of this, and uh, I realize here that that the old stick welds they're separating on out too. So I'm gonna grind these out and redo it with uh, with the MIG process. And uh, when I do attempt to, I'm just gonna lay a bead here. But when I come up to here, I'm gonna try to do a stitch weld and uh, draw these two edges together. We'll see what happens. <laughs> And hopefully this metal won't flex on me as I go. Okay, so I gotta do a couple of tacks. One here. see what I'm doing here is just slowly coming in here and laying horseshoe after horseshoe after horseshoe bead to fill this in. And uh, it's something I already did a whole lot more of over on this side here. I had the same corner knocked out and then there was a big crack going along here and uh, up along here this rib had let go as well. I thought I'd show you the end result before I grind this on out, but I uh, I just started doing horseshoes, horseshoes, and I'd have to, <laughs> this stuff is fairly thin, so I'm having to wet it every time I do a horseshoe, and eventually I got to kind of doing C's, and I wasn't welding on this side so it wouldn't pull the metal in, and uh, now I'm at the point where it's filled in, and I'm just going to grind it on out, make it flush. So this little ring, it uh, it has three three nut plates on it, and the entire chute bolts onto it, and it goes underneath this ring here, which creates a problem. When I got the snowblower, it was broken right here, so yesterday I, I welded that on up. And somebody else, after taking it off, somebody else had kind of that it had broken here. But the problem is, is when you get in here, how do you weld this up without sticking metal everywhere? And they put a strap on here and it was too long. So my plan is...
That was a horrible weld, but the interest of sticking stuff together, it's stuck together. So here's the result. Oh, that is a mess sloppy weld. You know, nothing that the grinder can't make vanish and look pretty. <laughs> Perfect. So the last thing I've really got to do is just weld up this band. This band is uh, is what the chute onto the snowblower, and it had broken in a couple of places. Somebody else had repaired one of those, and they put on a longer band. I uh, cut that off and I put on a, a shorter band. So the idea is that this will have. Slopping, I hope. <laughs> it won't be beating itself up as much. So I've just got to do a quick little big weld here and uh, weld this band together and then uh, I'm done with this repair project with the exception of just uh, replacing the middle roll. Weld it unless it's dripping. One last final tip, YouTube. One thing I always do when I'm running with paint. I remove my glasses and put them somewhere far away. This stuff, when it dries, it also leaves, if you touch it, you'll get glittery crap everywhere. <laughs> it's dull. I don't want to have glittery crap anything like my glass. So shiny, so very, very shiny. I have to get some red enamel. Silver fingers. <laughs>